Office Podcast. fucking want to text you or call you because they just listen to your song it's like nigga that's the only time you yeah. listen to my shit is because you just saw it. it looked like i was up for a second so you like oh shit let me tap in <laughs> like what's up with him not nah, for real but it's like that's some shit that i do i'll be like yo i all right i'm up now so it's like yeah i'm trying to put my my peoples on you know what i'm saying go listen to rondo shit yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I would just be like that like you already listening to my stuff i don't have to tell you to listen to my shit that's, that's what, what i'm saying it would be more like us telling other people to get hip instead of us like having to get hip that shit would be crazy because like i said bro that's i don't know bro that song and then i like it i like it because I hear a lot of songs that's catchy and I hear a lot of songs that stick in my head so it's even better when I know my man's made it and that shit is in my head but bro I'm talking right now that shit is in my head <laughs> like you know what I'm saying it, it should be in my head too though mm-hmm, that's the thing hey. like the it's the melody of the song that you you can hum that joint you don't even have to say the uh-huh. words if you don't know the words so it's like <sighs> if a kid hear that shit is over like and then the pro- the problem is not the problem but the but the uh, the problem for the haters is you so fire at how you did it that um I feel like how you talking to her on that joint is still on some gentleman shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's still, like, you could be in the tux with that joint. Like, you could be in the video yeah. in a whole tux, like, like, shawty, I'm ready to go down the aisle. What's up with you? Who gonna be your man? You got me right here. Like you said. And that's your... That, you over there playing with that. <laughs> that nigga still out, out in the streets. Like, I'm right here. I'm ready. 
Like who go? But that's like, really for that. Go okay. ahead. <laughs> we both say. Nah, I was just gonna say. <laughs> I was just gonna say like that song really is just for like, okay, girls that want to go fuck with another nigga for the wrong reasons, but the whole time while you fuck with him, uh, that's gonna be your man, but you still thinking about me and shit, like. But yeah, that's for so that. look, look, though, you know look though, it's like, but that's the thing about music. Yeah. However, you made it, and the intentions you made it for, or what you mean by what you saying, people gonna take from it multiple different things. But that I, I'm glad that you said that because I got this song called Trophy, right? I got this song called Trophy. Yeah, it's on on my album. I'm gonna get back to my point, but go ahead. I want to hit this. Oh no, oh shit. No, you good. Damn, my bad. I ain't gonna forget my shit. You ain't got my bad. This is right. this is. I'm right. good at complex conversation. I'm ready for it. All right, so look, I got a song called Trophy, mm-hmm. and. The whole the whole album Daytona 500 is a NASCAR themed album. So I'm talking about like the whole album got a concept. It's about me winning the cha- winning the Daytona 500, and it's like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. So like trophy is like the last song on the album, and I won the I won the race. I'm getting the trophy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Pop yes. champagne. Oh, it go like pop champagne. Oh. Mm-hmm. And this girl, this girl, I played it for this girl, and she liked the song really bad. Like she, she loved that song. She keep playing it every time I like join her live. She like listen. She played this shit every single time, mm-hmm. and she know a word from word. Mm-hmm. And she said, "I'm gonna play this at my wedding." And I'm like, oh, "Yo, that's what? not even like that type of song. Like that's not even that type of song." But it's just like I that's didn't what make it mean the song to her. So, like so, so you, what, that, where people exactly. at, where people at in their life, like how where I'm at right now. I'm on some becoming a man shit. I'm on some becoming a man shit and separating being a man from being a boy and thinking about myself to think about my family. So when uh-huh. I hear that, I hear you telling a girl to grow up. Like, I'm growing up. Yeah. I'm a man. Who gonna be your man? Like, that. it makes the word yeah. man mean more when I hear you repeat uh-huh. it. Like, when you keep repeating it. Because the first time you say it, I know it's the casual who gonna be your man, but then the, when I hear you say who gonna be your man, like who gonna be your supporter, who gonna be your fan, who really gonna be your what's up? Yeah. Like, who gonna be your man? Not no, we're not talking about this game shit, y'all. We playing like facts. You know what I mean? So Look, yeah, he hit. So that's what you mean, but at the same time, you talking about something. Sometimes it's more direct, and that's how it is with music. It's like people gonna always pull off and have their own personal attachments to the shit, and it's like. The thing about that 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 song that I was saying, like how the, it makes me feel like it makes me picture you even in the tux and all that shit. It's like the idea that um, I don't know. You made a song that you literally like. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Mm. People do it so much now in music that it's hard to notice, but. Uh, I, it still stands out to me. You literally asked a question the whole song. You didn't answer for for her. You didn't tell her <laughs> what to answer. You didn't tell her. You still gave her a choice. Like you asked her, like said, "What you gonna do?" And it's like you use the song to show your point of view, and that's something that men don't do enough. I feel like men on songs, we always want to. Uh, we we tend to blame the world and everybody around us a lot for our problems. And you got on that joint and realized, yeah. just asked her, "What's up?" And then ex- use that song to kind of explain, like, you don't you it's you on the outside looking in of a woman, and you said, "This is your person. This is your point of view." Women need to hear that, bro. You on the yeah. outside looking at her. You search across. You go across the land like you you doing all of this for nothing. Like not on no hating but- shit. <laughs> but that's what I see. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? That's all I see. I all I see is you're you you're you you're missing something. And it's like it reminds me of She Needs Me by Kendrick. Oh by uh, yeah, uh huh. It's like a Facts. she needs it's like your she needs me, bro. It's like at the you I don't know if you heard both versions of She Needs Me. You heard both? I think I just heard the original, like just I was about to say, I heard Dom one Dom Kennedy is on the remix. And the original Oh yeah, I ain't hear that. I definitely ain't hear that. Dom Kennedy is on the remix, and that's on the. Uh, that's what I was. At. That's why I asked you that night. I texted you. I was like, "Have you ever heard the Heart Part Two? Because it's yeah, I heard every all all of them. It's two, uh, all three of them. It's two. It's two uh, versions of Overly Dedicated. I mean, four. You said what? I mean, I heard all four of them. I forgot it's four, uh, four of the hearts. But I'm saying it's two versions of Overly Dedicated. 
and the the mixtape, and it's uh uh huh. She needs me to remixes on one, and then she needs me to originals on another. It's like they take off some songs, and then on some of them, the heart part two ain't even on. Yeah. So um, I just love how overly dedicated starts with that joint. You know what I mean? Because I was a kid, and people was uh-huh. like thought I was crazy, but whatever. When they hear it now, they probably like Kendrick to go, Kendrick to go, but they ain't never even heard the heart part two. So how you know he to go? This nigga yeah, like been she- saying that. Been uh-huh. saying that. Like my granddad was living well, healthy. When when I was listening to that shit, and I had like, ain't no way I'm listening to some shit rap, and I'm a young nigga, I'm a grandkid, and my granddad in his seventies is like, turn that shit up. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I knew I was listening to the right shit when I heard that nigga say, turn that shit up. So um, but yeah though. Uh, at the end of she needs me. What he say? The original. What he say? He's like. Like all, like he told a whole story, and at the end of the day, she need, she she even told that nigga she needs him. Right. Like she got everything she worked for, she wanted. She got a new job, new career, new nigga, and it just wasn't what she wanted. It wasn't what she needed. That's what I'm saying. It's what though, she wanted, like, but it wasn't what she needed. <laughs> but just the whole thing. Look, that's funny that you said that because this girl, she asked, me, she asked me what's my calling. What's your what? I, no, she, no. She she asked the question. She was like, "Would you rather find your soulmate or find your calling?" And I said, "Find my soulmate." And then she get and then she get to try to act like, "Oh, find it, it find it under your calling is way more important." So than you finding basically trick back her, right? She, yeah, I, because I, because no, you I, know your calling already. You don't need to find it. Yeah, that, no, yeah, exactly. And, and, that's and, exactly. That's what, what I told her. What, I said I already know my to that calling. Is, yeah, your soulmate. And then to her, she thinking that she's trying to trick back you to kind of give you some tests to make sure you not a yeah. yeah to, so she can convince herself that you're not a good nigga or you good a good uh-huh. nigga. So she's trying to decide in her head like. Hmm, if he answers this wrong, he doesn't even know what he's supposed to be doing in life. Like, but at the end of the day, bitch, it's like. My, look here I go I said I wasn't gonna start this off with uh, I wasn't even gonna yeah. do the pile with bitches but uh, I'm sorry ladies women oh, dang Girls. you say you wasn't gonna do I said it and I, I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna I'm own up to my shit and I'm trying to be better but hey, back to the point trying. you literally said you literally said it in your in her, she said it in her question she, she showed all her cards in her question go ahead so then she said, so then I think I asked her the question back. I said, what about what about you? And she said, my calling. She'd rather find her calling. And I said, What'd she lying. say to you though? What what she say to your your response? She was like, I think she asked I forgot what she said. I, I said, um, yeah, I rather I'd rather find my soulmate. I think she just like said, hmm, or like did like a reaction. Yeah, like and hmm. then I asked her like Like that's yeah. different type shit, yeah. And then I and then I was like, "What about you?" And then she said her calling, and I said, "You lying." And then she, she was like, "No, I'm not." And I'm like, "Nigga, you could find your calling. You still gonna want somebody." Bro, why sound like you rapping she, one of your said, songs to me? <laughs> well, every look, don't get me started on that. Every time I hear about stuff, I just feel like I'm doing ad libs. Like, like when I listen to my vocals on this shit. I just feel like it just sound like ad libs. Like, like you were singing to me, bro. You was just rapping to me. You was like, but I'm like, why are you lying? Like, bro, that song is in my head. That's okay. probably why I'm hearing it like that because you had a conversation I'll with a woman, cry. bro. That is great. That's great, bro. Because like, what I did. Look, this is what this is why I fuck with Drake. And I used to, and I used to, and I tried something to see if I could make a Drake like song. Not to make a Drake like song, but you know what I mean by make a Drake like song. Um, yeah. Especially when it comes to women, and um. I just, this is what I did. I copy and pasted all my text message conversations with a woman, a girl I was talking to at the time. And I put it in my notes and I made it rhyme. And I was yeah. like, this sound like some shit Drake would do. This sound like what he be doing. He be having whole conversations with women on a song. I think somebody said that he said, I think, no, that's crazy that you said. I think I saw somewhere somebody said that he do that. It was Sean Kingston. Sean Kingston said he do that. See, I never even knew that. Sean Kingston said, yeah, this is what Drake would do. Drake would sit in the booth and he would like go through his text messages with girls and mm-hmm. he would he would pick he would pick certain things that girls would say in their text messages or that he said to a girl and he would go in the booth and just start singing. 
And I'm like, what? I mean, that sounds like that's a that's a thing. Like that's crazy. But, but like, the reality is, sense. you do that without reading the text messages. You just do it because you know, like you have a woman's voice. Like, like this is what I think about it. with artists and and creators. Both of us, you and you could chime in and tell me your side of this, but I think we all have like, if you look at our brain as like, uh, there is a conveyor belt in the middle of it. But then we have these bins, like my job. This is kind of what some of my job is. And um, there, there's these bins, and we sort things that way. And we have, sometimes we have a catalog in our mind of of different things. Like, we got women. We got family. We got mm-hmm. parents. We got friends. We got food, money. And there's all these things in our head. And as things come down the conveyor, we toss it in the bin. But every now and then, that bin starts to speak to you, and it gives you an answer that you don't even need to go through the whole bin and sort and find specific things because you have a general understanding of what's in that bin. You see what I'm saying by now? Yeah. And I think uh-huh. I feel like with women, you have a very good, clear woman voice in you. You see what I'm saying? And um, yeah. when you create shit, it comes out because you know what they're saying. You know what they're saying. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And you you talk to so many women. And it's like, I told you, I ain't talked to girls as much as you talk to girls now. Like, when I, since I was in high school. Yeah. So, it was like, I used to yeah. go to school, nigga, at orientation, and all my shit was, like, my whole shit was getting numbers. How many, uh-huh. I used to find a nigga, right, that's going to be my, I ain't pick it like that. I wasn't thinking, like, this going to be my wee man. But I was just, I would always link up with at least one nigga, and we cool, we on the same type of time. And I'm like, hey, yo, I would make it a competition, bro. I bet I get more numbers than you today, bro. And, like, that like would be it. the drive. That would give me the confidence to just go out and talk to him. And it's like, if I never did that, bro, I wouldn't even be able to say shit about a woman in the song because I needed that to kind of get to know them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh-huh. What you think about that shit? Shit, I mean, that's fire. Am I off? I, I, Am I off on what what I said about my assessment of, of your of your mind, my nigga? <laughs> no, you wasn't. No, no, you definitely wasn't. Okay. Because it's just like, I, I just think like, what I just think, I just feel like, like you said, you, you, was, you was on point with what you said about me, like, t- 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 speaking to a lot of girls and stuff. And it's like, a catalog. To know, uh-huh. Yeah. So it's like, I just, I just been through so much, like, other fuck shit with girls. Mm-hmm. But not like, the, not, not like the fuck shit that you've been through. Yeah. But like, I've been through, the, I've been through fuck shit. I still go through fuck shit, which is the lying and the acting like you don't like me. And I mean, but every dude stuff. goes through it, but we all handle it different. And I feel like you, yeah, you fact. take it in, in such a way that's it's actually good for you. You know, some dudes uh-huh. take it in such a way where they end up like coming back to school with a gun and then they want to shoot everybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you take it yeah. in a way where it's like, you making creativity out of it, and you. But what, uh-huh. what she? This is funny because she 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 talking about you find your calling, Shorty. Do you know that this is my calling? What I'm doing with you right now is my calling. Me like even talking facts. to you is part of my calling because if I talk exactly. to you, whatever comes out of this, whatever this experience is, I'm gonna make a fucking make a song, song about it. <laughs> And I don't want, I ain't want girls to be scared of me back there. I ain't want to never tell nobody that I was going to make songs. That's why I didn't tell girls that I made music, because I just wanted to fuck with the girl. I didn't want her to feel Ooh. like she was going to be in a you video. To to I didn't shit. want her to feel like she was going to be in a song, on an album. I ain't tell her I was dropping nothing. I used to it feel was like girl, that. It was times I was in a whole relationship, never even told the girl I was dropping music. I just dropped it. Uh-huh. It was so separate from her. You see what I'm saying? I'm glad we talk about this shit because, like, now we can talk about this shit that I'm about to say because it's, it's connected. That's how I felt when I made... That's what I was talking about when I said, um, I made... I, I'm broke. Yeah. I was like, yo, this is how... I, I, now I can tell the story about how that song came about. Okay, okay. What's up? So, this, this is the thing. So, like, I, I get food stamps, right? Right. And I lost my food stamp card. You know they bounced me. And they said I don't even qualify no more. Because you got a fucking, you know what I'm saying? You getting cake. I got a job. That's what, that's what, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, like, 
yeah, I lost my food stamp card. And I'm like, what the fuck, bro? And I was hungry as shit. Right. So I'm just like, bro, I'm going my, I'm on my way up to the little joint and shit. And you I'm standing in the line. I'm going. I'm on my way to the. Uh, it's it's not even a building. It's like a little. What the fuck is that shit called? I don't know. It's a, it's an area where the food stamp people work at. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what to call them. The social workers, whatever. I don't know. Yeah, they. It's the government. This is. Let's just call yeah. it the government. Fuck it. So yeah, so I'm about to go get my card and shit. Cause we still and get I'm food stamps, but we don't get as much because of me. <laughs> I, like I feel you, I feel you. Go ahead though. That's just that's just still lit. But like, yeah, I'm um I'm just sitting there and I'm just like, bro, I'm tired of this broke shit, bro. I'm just tired of yeah, having to go through shit like this. Like I lost my food stamp card mm-hmm. and I don't got enough food stamps and shit. And I'm just like, bro, I'm just I'm about, bro. I swear to God, I'm about to make a song about this shit, bro. I'm mm-hmm. just gonna be like, just gonna make a song. But, about but how making that. Like, you know I'm, I'm like, sorry for cutting you off, and interjecting again, but. I'm going to just see how we feel together because uh, when I do shit like that, when I have literal, real, I'm in the moment and then I Mm -hmm. tell myself I'm going to do something about this musically, doesn't the music and you making that song help you with that situation, help you live through it, help you grind, help you fucking be okay while you have to do it, it makes you, it puts you in the future while you still in the present, right? Or is that just me? Yeah. It kind of no, frees you of do. it, right? Yeah, yeah. It makes your situation way smaller. It doesn't Facts. seem as big as it was when you was fucking trying to get food. Because you trying to get food is one thing, but you making a song about trying to get food is another. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it's like something that I would have never done before, like, because it's just like... You were stunting? You was trying to stunt on every on every track? <laughs> I was trying. Yeah, I guess you could say that. No, I was. I was trying. I was trying not to talk. Of, like I was just talking about psychological stuff. I wasn't really talking about Nothing my real. life. I know what you mean because uh-huh. that's what how everybody think they post to rap when we first start rapping. Though I feel like we all do that. I feel like everybody be like, but, yeah, facts. Let me talk about some other shit because it's like probably whatever got you into rap was probably some deep psychological shit. Definitely. <laughs> so it was like, but look though. I'm gonna say this too about the food stamp shit. Um, I'm gonna say this, and then I'm gonna we probably gonna come back to it. You know how we do, but uh huh. Don't nobody want the black man in the home, bro. In a home with a family, running his shit, making money for that. Cause they're not gonna help you do it. Yeah, ain't nobody gonna help you do it. If you going, if if you gonna get money and you going, you know what I'm saying? Then you because need to just get it I all know. the way. I know that if I was homeless, I could get food stamps, and then they could get way more food stamps in here. You see what I'm saying? But it's a thing where it's yeah. like, and I probably shouldn't even have brought this to the pod conversation because they gonna try to play like I make. I'm making bank off this podcast, and then they gonna be like, "Look, nigga, you really ain't getting nothing now. None of y'all getting I'll shit." Cry. <laughs> but it's so crazy because this is why this is a part of the thing that brings a disconnect between black men and black women, and it's because it was a time in history, right, when we was all a family, bro, and black families was a big thing, and then it became because we had to we had to be a family because. It was we was dealing with blatant racism, like painful uh-huh. shit. Watching niggas be lynched in the streets and shit. And then once the government said, "Hey, Shardy, I will give you a money, a financial incentive to not have to deal with this nigga." And then women all of a sudden became independent. We don't need no man. Da 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 da. And it's almost like it's almost every incentive in the world. It's every option there for them to not have to deal with you. Not for you to be in the home. And all of that deal with you shit is a whole nother perspective issue. I don't believe that me, I'm a goat, I'm a god. And if I'm in your home, I'm leading it. And at the same time, that's the best thing that could ever happen for you. You're not about to have me thinking that I'm fucking supposed to be... What we say on the last fucking... On 51? Oh, I'm... I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy you're here. Like, what is that yeah, type of shit? Like, bl- like low key, like, like I was telling, like, even when I listened to the later in the episode, I was like, we said, I told my girl, all you got to do is be here. I was like, still, that's kind of a low bar. Like, nah, <laughs> like nah, like nah, like it's it's me. All I have to do is be here. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah, I know what that do for you. You know what I mean? You get. 
You get security, you get sex, you get money, you get so much power in just all you got to do is cook me a meal or two. All you got to do is do my laundry. All you got to do is take care of the house and make sure the kids is okay until I get home. Like, I'm not asking for too much in here, bro. And it's like... Exactly. I feel like with women these days, when they have all these options, all these... All right, I don't need you, bro. Somebody going to buy my food for me, bro. And it's like, you wonder who is really willing to even do that. And of course, it's somebody that's up to no fucking good, like the government. (laughs) Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, they the main one. They they apt to do it. Like, they happy to do it. They willing to do it. And like I said, you get even more the less men you have in your life, basically. You get more benefits. How crazy it's is like, that? It's, it's not like how it was. I always say this. I'm tired of saying this fucking shit, bro. I'm tired. I say this shit. Been saying this shit for the imagine, longest. It's imagine when like you hit episode 50, 523. You're going to be like, yo, I'm really tired of saying this shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm tired of saying this shit. But like, I've been saying this shit before I was even on the podcast. Like, I know. It's not like saying. how it was. It's not like how it was in the '90s or like the early 2000s, where it's like you you only know people in your area, or girls in your area. So it's like ain't really. But yo, but shout so out, shout out options. to that nigga Godson the Pharaoh, Godson Smith, the nigga that we about to have on the show. He uh-huh. real live, he real live said that in his interview. He was saying that um, he felt like he was born born in the wrong era. Like, do you feel like not necessarily wrong? I ain't like how he said wrong because. I get what he meant, but I was like, that's kind of like, man, it ain't nothing wrong. You see what I'm saying? But at the same uh-huh. time, it's like, if we was born back then, bro, we would already be Michael Jackson to people. Nah, that's facts. That's the fact, bro. That's, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> no, that, <laughs> that's and we would have been faked our deaths and been sitting on an island somewhere, sipping nah, pina coladas exactly. with our family and our kids and everything, and they ain't never got to fucking deal with society that we ran from. And, and got all uh-huh. these billions to get the fuck away from. Like, it's uh-huh. like, it would have been that type of time, bro. But go ahead. <laughs> nah, for real, though. Like, this shit crazy. Yo, this pod like, started on fire, bro. I love this shit. Uh, this pod started on so bro. heated, bro. This shit, this shit hot right here, boy. We in the kitchen nah, with real. it, boy. We cooking, boy. Literally. Chef chef boy all Rondo. <laughs> nah, for real, though. Like, this shit crazy. It's like... But now it's like, like you said, girls got all these options and uh, uh they got all like these said, options nigga. and stuff. I said, no, I said that shit before. I'm crying. Nah, you you just said that just now. I know, like, I know, I know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to play with you because it's just this, you, once once you said that, every time you talk about girls and then they're acting or them lying or something, it puts me into that song again. So just go ahead. I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, that's why you said you said it. that. You funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, it's just like yeah, like. Girls got all these options and all this stuff, and it's just like, I'm just like at at a point where I'm options. like, yo, I'm not about to be competing with some niggas I know I'm better than, like and all over the board. Like I'm not doing that. And then you know I'm better than them, but it's just like you don't want to give that wow. lifestyle up. Then you want to blame every other nigga. Niggas is hey, when girls say deep. yeah, niggas is cheaters and, and cheaters and liars and doing all this. And that's that. you deep, don't even girl. fuck with niggas. You don't even fuck with niggas. But to listen, even know though, what listen, niggas though, are. Listen, you though, hear this about another niggas. thing too. Like if we ain't gonna call women bitches, I'm not just about to keep calling fuck with niggas like all that shit. I'm not about to say niggas no more. But I don't, I, we, we talked about this when we first reconnected. Like when uh-huh. did this shit say switch to, doing, to motherfuckers calling men niggas? Like, we say, you ain't got no nigga. Like, where did that come from? Where did that whole <laughs> shit start? That shit wrong as fuck, and I'm not with it, bro. We I talked, that we shit, talked bro. about this I'm shit, I'm a fucking bro, that's man, funny. boy. I'm a real man. Bro, this, then it's kids, hey, look, and look, then it's men. That's it. Go ahead. I said, this fuck great that you said that. I got a song that's... That, yeah, that shit unreleased. That shit ain't never coming out. But, I like... I said in the song, I said... It's coming uh, out, guys. I'm, gonna make I'm sure so cold. I'm, I'm a, a cold-hearted nigga. Sure oh, what you say? About? I was talking to the fans. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, love, my bad. Now, nah, I guess he was going in and out. I want some sneak dish and shit, but sneak, sneak, oh. sneak, sneak promo shit. Oh? I'm, I'm, sn- nah. I'm slick promoting you without telling you I'm promoting you. And I'm like, I wish I heard what you said. I'm going to hear nah, I told him. I told him. I said, look, I'm going to make sure he dropped that shit. Fuck, fuck he talking about. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> yeah, he funny I'm going to push that shit. song. I don't worry about it. <laughs> Cause, it, cause you, cause you, people gonna like, people gonna like the song. It's just like I don't know, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I see, 
But a, I said in the song, you being Rondo right yeah. now. Like, <laughs> you know how I be. It's like it's all right. Like it, it's a good ass song. But it's like it's all right. But sometimes like, I the said, premise be so better cool. than the song. Sometimes you ever notice uh-huh. that? Like sometimes, like what you make the song about, be way harder of a topic than the fucking sonics of the song. And it's like sometimes you you want to wait until the sonics match. That's the, the fucking, thing though. Concept. Go the ahead. sonic is the sonic is good. It's just with the topic of the song is that's why I'm not dropping it. Like, okay, 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 okay. Go ahead, go <laughs> you ahead. You know what I'm saying? Ahead. Say what you saying. But I said I'm, I'm so cold. I'm a cold hearted nigga. Don't call me nigga. Better call me a god bit. See, but I ain't don't call what you me nigga. Better be call me a god like bit. I be with it when I hear it back, but I don't be hearing you clearly when you sing on the fucking. Through the fucking headphones. Oh, so yeah, I was like, the, Damn, this nigga. I said, like, I'm, I'm so cold. I'm a cold hearted nigga. Don't call me nigga. Call me a god, bitch. But, 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 but let's not call them bitches. Uh, but no, nah, I'm with you. I'm but with nah, you. I said, but, nah, but, I said, B I H. I'm joking that's, with you. I'm joking. That's, I'm just joking. But look, yo, before you even got to this, before we even got to this part, hold on, hold on. I'm let's rewind crying. it. This nigga said, what was you saying, bro? You was saying something about. <sighs> you was right after I said, um, the black men in the home shit. Right after I said that and the options about women. Where were we going after that? You said something about what you what was you start it over. Start from your your options topic. Cause I said So Cause we was talking about the uh, what when it you we was talking about when uh then people start calling uh uh dudes niggas and saying like oh that shit nigga and shit. Oh, you was saying. See, I'm glad you just said that because that's not what I was talking about. But you said you was asking a girl like you don't even fuck with niggas da 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 da, and um. Oh yeah, I was like you you. I, I'm like you don't even you don't even um you talking about niggas is cheaters and I, I hate when girls say that right, dudes right, is cheaters right. and dudes they ain't is this you based and they got all these another options. dude experience so look and not um, even ex- they personal experience what they heard or they acting like they been in these these situations but the whole time you ain't never you are a virgin you don't even fuck with dudes you capping like every girl every girl I ever um every girl that um has ever answered the question. Why? Why is she single? What? What do? You, what does she say? I I know you know it. That's how you know girls. This say is it what they say. What, they what they, they, they be say? capping too, but they be saying this by choice. What they else do they say, say? They either say, but when they say it's by choice, they still saying long distance. It's the same thing they saying, but they saying I'm blaming a nigga. It's a nigga. That's the reason why I'm not doing nothing with niggas. It don't make sense, but, but at the reality of it is this. This is what I will say. Is that, and you said this already on episode 50 fucking one, they too logical and they thinking too yeah. much about everything. Everything is, they got the motherfucking, what's the, uh, what's the, what's the calculator that we had to have in school, the fucking scientific, they got a whole scientific calculator. Nah, they doing nah. fucking exponents and all this shit. Like, what's up with you, shawty? Like, relax. Like, they not even relaxed when they at the beginning of anything. Not nah, facts. So it's like, you're bringing his shit to my shit. And I bring that up to say, because I felt you when you tried to say, like, that these bitch... Mm, excuse me. Damn. That these women, these ladies, <laughs> and I love you guys, that they fucking tend to... See, this is the thing. This is another thing. Even I'm gonna bring it back to what I'm saying right now, but I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this up and interject it because I just slipped up and almost said bitch. Part of the reason that I even call women bitches is because of the fucking scorn that I be having to the attitude that you guys have to men. Period. Yeah. At the Facts. end of the day, if I get so much negative energy from you and interacting with you, I'm going to hold it and then I'm going to use it because I'm a man. I have way more f- more power than you in this physical yeah. realm 
So I know how to hurt you way harder than you can hurt me. It take way more yeah. of your energy, and it's going to hurt you at some point to even try to hurt me. So it's one of those things where it's like, I could say bitch, and you can't stop me. You can't do nothing. Like, what can you do? Uh-huh. Like, you defenseless. So it's not that I'm trying not to like bully shit. women. It's not even that I want you to be defenseless. It's one of those things where it's like, growing up, and I'm young. So let's just, I'm about to be 25 in February, but I'm young. So it's one of those things where it's like, I'm not used to expressing myself in in tremendous ways. Like, I have music, I have all these things, but I want 77,000 ways to express myself. So that way, when uh-huh. it comes to a woman, I don't even have to say certain things. I can deal with her on some, on some return of the Mac. Like, come on, bro. My man said... And then I told you once before, <laughs> but I guess you did, you know? Like, come on, bro. If I could have been like that the first time I ever went, dealt with a woman, like, come uh-huh. on, bro. Like, you'd be up right now. We'd be up right now. And, and as far as women, we would have so many women on our team that they would, we would be rich. That's just how it go. I it's see. like, I'm with employing women. So I'm with, I'm with the women. And it's just one of those things where it's like, you got to make sure that... um. I don't know. It's like, it's, uh, this is the thing as a man. We always have to deal with the fact that nobody's checking a woman. Who's checking women? Is it is it our job to yeah. check women? Or is it women's job to check women? Whose job is I mean, it? I'm going to say, before I answer that question, I'm going to say this. The number the number one thing that girls say when they get when they answer the question. I'm glad you're going back is, to this because I wanted to know. But go ahead. It's, be, it's because, I mean, it's because, it's, oh, um, I got cheated on. Man, but that's girl, a scam. Was, that's some scamming that shit. They, Anybody that's can a scam. say that. That's a, that's a scam. A man that's can a say scam. that, and then if a man say it, guess what the woman say back? What did you do? What you do, do? What you do to get shit? I dare you say I'm what crying. you do to a woman. <laughs> I ain't do shit. Ain't, ain't. Look, the last girl that said that, this is like a couple of days ago, she's talking about something, yeah, I got cheated on, and he cheated on me with Bro, a girl. They don't even say, with I a... didn't do nothing. What You know what they say, and this is why we. This is why I'm trying to change the narrative of, of, of what we call men and that are in relationships. He was a fuck nigga. Exactly. I'm, like, I'm what? sick of that term. I hate that term. That shit made my skin crawl, I hate all crawl, the terms. Bro. I hate all of the terms. It's just like, bruh, ain't none of that going on. What's really going on is y'all acting like y'all, y'all acting scared. Y'all really scared. This is the thing. Y'all say really women. scared. But y'all got all of these, they, y'all got all these excuses as to why, 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 why. That's what's really going on. Ain't nobody hurting y'all. Ain't nobody ever hurt y'all. Ain't nobody doing but nothing to y'all. Think about, it though. Y'all think about it though. Think about it though. Think about it though. See, see, we had this conversation before, and then it's like I've been, I, I've experienced it, real time. I know women who have been abused. I know women who have been, you know what I mean, traumatized. I know women who all of this. But this is the thing about human interaction. Both sides always lose. As much as both sides win and prosper, yeah. or maybe even one side prospers more than the other, but even when things go good, both sides lose. It's called yeah, compromise. When you come together, you're going to uh-huh. lose something that you had as yeah. an individual. And I feel like women have not have been conned. They have been conned to think that they can keep everything that they had as an individual and still go and be with a man. And it don't work like that. It, it's never going to work like that. You're going to get met with more opposition. And since he's a man, you're going to lose more than uh-huh. him. Facts. And that's traumatizing. That's devastating. And then that makes women hate men. And they don't hate us because they can't hate us. They don't ever want to hate us. They and, and, and like what we talked about last episode, the only time you hate something is when you love it. So at the end of exactly. the day, it's one of those things. It's like it's gonna drive them crazy, and then you have women acting delirious, and don't let you walk down the street and talk to this girl who just went through that. You see what I'm saying? Now you, now you as a man, about to get some obtuse as you know perspective of uh-huh. a girl at this badass moment, and she about to be wild, and you gonna get on the pod and be like these women. So nah. <laughs> These women yeah, crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, and wait, it's that's like, the thing. Girls don't like that either. Girls don't like when we say all, all they all the same. Like I'm just, like y'all all all the same. Y'all all do the same shit. The difference like, is like this is the, this is why I want you to get a girl or get at least a friend that's a woman. 
Because when you hear women listen to other women, they will say that they're crazy. They will yeah, say what we facts. say. But when, uh-huh. that's only when you make them listen to themselves. You see what I'm saying? It's yeah, one of those exactly. Things. Like, <laughs> it's, it's like it don't come up. They don't, they don't publicize that, that perspective of women. And it's one of those things, and I understand it. It's like women have been, you know, kind of dealt a, 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 a messed up kind of card in America. So you don't want to publicize your losses because you you trying to gain some ground. and You know what I mean? You don't want to publicize yeah. your losses. It's like the Black Lives Matter movement. You don't want to talk about black on black crime in the same conversation as Black Lives Matter because you're trying to cancel out what we're talking about. You see what I'm saying? It's one of those things. It's like we want to provide for women. We want women to have more. We want women we to, love be, them. to be successful. We want women to be happy. And if that's the mission, Thanks. why are we talking about women's flaws? That's how a woman think. Why are we talking uh, about what yeah. women do wrong? You see what I'm saying? And it's not it's not yeah. real to a man. To a man, we can talk about everything in one conversation. But to a woman, it's like, I'm I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to give you ammo. You know what I mean? And then it's like, it leads uh-huh. to this, 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 this thought process of denial and just... You know, but it's mostly women that's in our age, though. Like, it, it, like between eighteen and you said 30, it's messy. It's like, huh? You said it's messy. No, I said. I mean, no, I ain't say that. I said it's mostly, it's mostly women in our in our age group, like between eighteen it's mostly, and thirty. But it's also messy. But look though, this is the thing yeah, too, it is it's also like, messy though. Like, yeah, <laughs> this is the thing though too. There's more young women than there is old women. So what does yeah, the, exactly. what are the numbers saying? The numbers is saying that if you don't get with a man, you're gonna die alone, and you ain't going nobody even gonna remember uh-huh. you. We only gonna remember but the this, young women. But this the thing though, like that sounded fucked up. Don't leave me alone right here. <laughs> no, no, just, don't, don't leave that, me on that no. ledge like that by myself, NASCAR. Like, hold on, I know I got a wife and shit, but shit. I still want women to fuck with me. Oh shit. Nah, but this the thing. They gonna fuck with you. I know. Like, I'm just joking. This the thing though. It's like this is girls right here, like Love in you our ladies. age group. I'm crying. Like, okay, they doing all this caffeine and all this faking and all this image shit, yeah. right? And like, we we want them now, or like, what well, I. I don't even want them. Like I, I'm trying, I'm trying to give them a chance. You know what I'm saying? About I'm this, to, like, think about this though. As a man, as a woman, do you think that a man has the right to say that y'all that a woman's lying? How does he? How does he yeah, get to yeah, yeah. Get to say that? Tell me, tell, explain it. I want you to explain. It. I, I don't want you to just because I agree can do the fuck I want to. Just my, it's my truth. If you uh, ain't lying, then but shit. But she can say that too, that. and then she can say you wrong, and then she just say, "Look, I, it's if my I'm truth." If I'm wrong, then I'm fucking wrong to you. That's your perception. That's how you perceive. But then, what if, what if, wrong. what if, what if you don't never meet a woman who ever admits just for you saying that? What if you never meet a woman who ever says that? Like she's always. And I'm just gonna be gone, and then it's just gonna be like. When we gonna get shit. to the real conversation is all I'm saying. I don't want it to be this disconnect, uh-huh. this miscommunication between the sexes. We talked about this on Rally. Well, on I don't. Rally. I don't either. I'm sick of the miscommunication between the sexes. I want us to be able to have a conversation because the conversation needs to be had. Excuse me, so that we. Excuse me again. This is Tito's uh-huh. night. This is Tito's and and ginger beer. I'm drinking. Uh, Gosling got that good shit since nineteen eighteen uh oh six, and then I got oh, a little stamping. Budweiser in there because the Budweiser keep me fucking calm. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. The we got the yeah. Tito's handmade vodka and the and the Budweiser smooth is it, it out for me. I'm one of those weird niggas who mix liquor with beer, but that's fine. That's why I'm burping, but. I just feel like it's a miscommunication, and I think that we need to come together. And that, and the problem is, if we don't talk about things the, without emotion, communication is it's them always not chaos. With like, us. Why does it have to be chaos? It even builds it's, chaos between men. If we don't see eye to eye, go ahead though. Just the whole crazy thing. I'm gonna bro. shut up. I, I want you. To, I want you to do a whole fucking. I want you to monologue <laughs> this joint. I want you to kill it. I want you to I'm fucking. Crying. I want you to go in because. You have a philosophy over there that you've been holding on to you, and you've been keeping your little uh, 
female, you know, you know, your little Minecraft What's games you playing over there. You got these. <laughs> mind, I'm saying M I N D Minecraft. M I N D. You got some Minecraft over there that you've been working I on, even, and I want to know what's going on because it's some sort of uh, everything's a learning experience if you ask me. So go ahead. I just want to learn. Nah, I'm listening. It's like, bruh. Yeah, listen to learn. I, I, I just forgot what the, fir- the first thing I was going to say, but I know the second thing I was going to say. Of course I fucked it up. So. I when I shout out out Tito's, but shout out Tito's. I hope y'all Oh, yeah, no, yeah, we talk about Tito's, uh, drinking and shit. Fuck I sponsors. Forgot. But look. I was talking about yeah. before, I was talking about the conversation between men and women. And it needs to be had. Without oh, the miscommunication. Chaos. The miscommunication is them. And emotion them not without emotion. Back see, with see, us. see, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna stop you right there, man. I'm mad. I want you to talk. Maybe I should just let you talk. Should I let you talk? Nah, do what you want to do, Bruh, If you just, just if the first thing out your mouth is it's them, why can't they just say back it's y'all? That's what they're going to do. Because it's, it, it, it's not, it's bro, not us. They but, know it's but not us. But think about us. it. They as lying. a man, listen, as a man, if you know that's what they're going to say, why do you say out your mouth that it's them? You got to Because it's think, the truth. Whatever. It's the truth. It don't matter that. what the fuck they're saying what, back. It don't matter not, what they're saying back. That's not communication. Bro. See, this is what I learned with Pops. There is communication. No, it's no, me listen, expressing listen, how I listen, feel and listen, you express how you listen, feel. Listen, listen, listen. That's not communication. I know that's what niggas think communication is. Whoa. This chill. is what communication is. Let me teach you what communication is because I had to learn it myself and this is why they teach this shit in college. Communication is somebody understanding what you're saying. Listen. And when I say understanding, I'm not saying they have to agree. I'm just saying they understand. And if you talk to a woman, do you feel like she understand what you're saying? And when I say understand, I mean understand the fullness of what you're saying. Or does she only understand yeah. what she's comfortable with understanding before she has to give you something? Then she's like, I don't understand what we're it. About. Right. So that's my point. Communication is work. You have to do what it takes for people to really understand what you're saying because you're not you're not forcing them to be empathetic but by the end of you actually communicating perfectly they will be empathetic because they have no choice this is how you get a wife like me because uh-huh. you you found a way to communicate your vision to a point where she has no options but to choose you you see what I'm saying it's not a situation where she's like yeah, but it's a hole in your story right there. It's a hole over here. I can say this. I can say that. I can say this. I can say that. My wife don't got those options. I'm everything she wants, bro. I feel like if if she if if the girl she's not gonna lie to me I because she has no choice. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I know her too well. So it's like if you if you try that with me, I'm gonna point out the fact that you're lying, and you know you're lying, and you're yeah. only lying because you can. You're not going nowhere. Yeah. It's one of those things that, where it's like communication uh-huh. is on both sides. You can't just say nah, what facts. you think and then care less what nah, happens after nah, that. Nah, you have to nah, be nah, able what to... I think go ahead, is go, how go, I feel go. about I want you to go in. I want you to, like I said, I want you to monologue. I want you to go in. I want you to deep dive. I want like, to hear I t- what you got to say, bro. Like, if ahead. I tell a girl, like if, I, like... if I tell a girl, like... Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I don't even want to say this. If See I the tell girls the girl, get like, on the yeah, pod, when got... we talking about regular shit, this nigga can fucking pop. No, 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 it's cool. Pop, 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 nah, pop. I'm talking. The girls got this nigga thinking about his words. <laughs> nah, you funny. Nah, if, if I tell the girl, like, jokes, yeah, man. I got, come on, man. I, got I, I get to sip in the like... Tito's, man. You know how it go. I'm crying. Nah, if I tell a girl like how I feel about her and shit, and I'm only telling her that this gonna sound crazy <laughs> uh, and I'm only telling her that because I know that's how she feel about me and I feel like so that way about her back <sighs> nah not really cause I'm not lying to her let me ask you something Brandon NASCAR yeah are you thinking about the toxicity in women when you talking to or dealing with women or are you thinking about the pure purity of women when you're talking and dealing with women just answer honestly. Don't try to That's a good explain question. nothing. I, Just answer the question. The toxicity in women. I'm trying to think. Like, are that, you combating ignorance or are you co- talking to your dream girl? I don't have no dream girl. You do, though. You said you got a woman that you want. You wanted a girl. Whoever that girl is, whatever she means to you, whatever she's like, 
when you meet a, a random girl you don't know, even on the internet. Oh, like are you oh, like treating the her? Team? Okay. Are yeah. you giving her that benefit of the doubt, or are you treating her like you need to fight already? Are you already thinking like? She might not be like that. She's not that type of girl. She already on some other shit. She might be on some other shit, and I gotta kind of trick her or teach her how to be for me. Like, nah. I, what are you doing? I'm, are you I'm talking like, to your dream girl I at all s- times, and not only on songs but in in your personal life? Okay. I, I don't know. That's I feel like you, I don't know if I like, am. As as on the outside looking at, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I, well, I'm I know I'm not. I'm no, I'm not. I'm not. No, but I'm, I'm saying not. on the I'm outside. Not. See, I'm glad you said that. But I know you're not. And it's not, uh-huh. it's not, it's not, it's not a bad thing, cause you, yeah, like I said, because that's not my songs, fault. You're gonna make so many albums, you're gonna make so much shit, and then like I said, when your wife hears it, she's gonna be exactly. the one who, uh-huh. who, who's like, I'm glad that you have this much passion for me. So it's one of those things that, where, like yes, I said, facts. I was making songs like for question. years, bro. I was talking to you, I was t- having conversations, but I was thinking about my wife. I didn't know who she physically looked like. And what she was gonna be, if she, how many that's kids how it was she, back then. she was gonna have when I met her. I didn't know none of that. I just knew that she was my wife. She was the woman I wanted to be with until I got old, until I died, and then I knew she was gonna be the girl that I put a baby in to make a fucking human version of me and another fucking slice of life with all this freedom inside. Who gonna fucking rejoice and be themselves? And they gonna fucking run the world. I knew that that was gonna happen before I even talked to anybody, but. Uh huh. When I talk to people, I never looked at them. It's like it changed my perspective. It changed how I approached women. Because if I talk to a girl, she has now that all of that potential that I just spoke on. She has the potential to do all of that. That's a lot of power. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And your soul gonna speak thing. to you, and it's gonna tell you when and who to give that to. See, when you on well, live like, and you talking to a girl who you just, you're not going to make her do nothing, bro. Come on. No, of you course. Know you're not. But not. You got to know. The one that's, is the that's, one for a reason. They say it's the one because it's the one. It's, it uh, could be a million voices, but she only hears yours. It's that type of shit, bro. It's not no th- game this with whole this shit, thing. bro. People play and people talk and people make mu- movies and propaganda and all this uh, Valentine's Day section of the holiday, uh, 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 Hallmark yeah. cards in the, in the grocery store, but it's all about capitalism, and you know that shit playing on people's emotions to make money. Uh-huh. At the end of the day, your heart tells you what the fuck is real. You know what's no, of real. Of course. You know what's yeah. real. We, so, all, we know this. So stop talking to them once you know it ain't. No, that that's what I do though. Cause that's not communication. I, 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 you're gonna fight. That's it. That's all you gonna get is fight. No, I don't. Never, then, I don't. But, but, but listen, thing, I don't though, listen fight. though. All I'm saying, like, this is not. This is not me talking about you in particular. I'm talking about oh, men. We oh, need to. Oh, it's just, oh, okay, men it's need just to men, stop. Men, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause men do that. Men, yeah, men need to stop. We men as a as a whole have to have a voice. Cause women have a voice as a whole. They they tend to yeah. come together, and join a general narrative to get their mission pushed to wherever they needed to go. You know how women love to talk about. Women power, women, women, women mean this, women. You don't get women. You don't get women. You don't understand how uh-huh. girls think. See, men don't talk okay. like that. That's the problem, for yeah. real, for real. Uh-huh. It's because we've left it too open for them to decide who's who and what's what in a man. We got to yeah. set it straight. It's on us to be like, nah. Like, don't be worried about the fact that Yo, I'm talking like this. He ain't talking like that. I get to diss niggas and diss, diss women. No, it ain't gonna work like that. You gonna lose. Because you uh-huh. <laughs> you can't say women tripping and men tripping. Because you talk about yourself. To them. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's one of those things where it's like, like I said, it's, it, it, you have to, it's, it's you have to think about your end goal. In your every decision. That's how I was. That's how I met this woman. That's how I was when I was in elementary school, bro. I knew I wanted to be married in elementary school. You love bringing up Francis T. Evans. You said it like 17 times on the, on, on the last episode. Kind. That, 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 when I was in that school, ask anybody. They might say I wasn't even thinking about nothing real. But the reality is, I knew what I wanted from the jump. Got that shit, bro. I got that shit before I knew I was gonna get it. 
Bro, when I tell you, I, it's like yeah. the situations that I tried to teach people. I tried to teach them my ways. I tried to teach them my plan. I tried to teach them my whole goal. It didn't but, work. They ended up deciding what they wanted that. at the end. So it's like I have to like let things go. And I feel like men do too much of poor communication. We say shit emotionally when we when we acting like women out of anger and like that's an emotion. Men love to claim anger like it's not an emotion, like it's just a part of being a man when in reality, no, it's an emotion. So you on some female shit. You need to fucking stop being emotional and just listen. Take your fucking emotions out of it. Listen to everything she got to say, bro. I don't care if she talked for two hours, bro. Listen to what the fuck she got to say. And then don't even fucking respond. Take your time. That's a that's a that's some shit that I need to do. But it's like, yeah, that's some shit that I need to do. Why? Right. Why you say you need to do that? Why you why you know? Like, see, I'm talking to your man right now, and it's got you like, yo, I need to do that. Why you need to do that? Tell me why. Cause you because you know that talking too fast is some girl I used to shit. Do that. I used to do that. I no, no. This the whole no. But you used to do that. I, I know you used have. to do that. You got no. But you, you, but you running away from like you getting impatient. You see what I'm saying? That yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look, look, look. Did, look, look. Let me, let that's me say some this. Girl real shit. Quick. Still, that's some female shit. That's like men supposed uh, to be like I said this on blame me. You are supposed to be a you like, and I'm not perfect. I'm not talking like I'm a fucking like I'm the goat at doing what I'm saying. I'm saying it so that I can do it better too. But I'm supposed uh-huh. to. Men are so we are supposed to be able to keep our cool. If you no, can keep definitely. your cool as a dude, bruh, do you know you run the show? Like this is why no, I love of Return of the Mac. Mark Morrison, bruh, he was so cool in the video. But he was so but what he say though? And I cried and I cried ha ha. Like, I tried, too. And I tried. And I tried. Huh? Bro, he tried. He tried it. He tried it, bro. And he cried. You told me I wasn't going to be shit. But here I am. And I had to come back to let you know that I'm still going to win. Like, come on, yeah. bro. You're not, you're not going to trick me off my manhood. But he went through something. You saw it in the song. He ain't just make that song for nothing. He really went through uh-huh. some shit, bro. And as a man, My you facts. gotta you gotta really like think about that. As a man, you can't go through some shit without changing your whole shit up. Like stop, stop doing that shit, bro. That's that gay shit. And then when I say gay shit, I'm not saying like you gay. I'm saying it's that gay shit in the sense where people go with narratives because they trending and they trying to be on the good side of everybody. You talked about this, how this fake morality is like toxic in the air right now, especially around COVID time. People, everybody trying to go where the wind going. Hmm. Uh huh. I'm trying to be on the right team. What the fuck is that? How? What? Where are you in that? What is you? Like Do you shit. even exist if you're trying to be on the right team? You gotta exist, bro. Exist, bro. What's your real voice? Your real voice is instantly this bitch ain't right for me. And when I say bitch, y'all can get the fuck over it. This bitch ain't right for <laughs> yeah. me. Why am I doing this though? Because I fuck. I'm fucking greedy. Like, I gotta have it. Like, let me stop. Like, let me get on some shit where I'm like, all right. And I'm only telling you this shit because I did it, bro. I done literally talk to girls, and I'm like, it's only horny shit, but I'm so slick that I can talk to them like I'm, I'm in love or I'm on some, some deep nigga shit. When in reality, I'm not on no deep nigga shit, bro. I'm really on some, I'm just trying to fuck shit. And it's been times, like I said, most of the time, and when I say most of the time, I'm not just saying that because I'm on a pod. I'm real live, like, I'm 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 horny as fuck as a nigga, but the reality is I don't talk to y'all if I'm horny. I go to the internet and watch digital videos. I don't need you. I don't need a human interaction to get that off because I, I, I know that if I do that, I'm going to confuse somebody. You see what I'm saying? And nah, my point okay. is... It's been times when I did choose, and those are small times, mo- a few moments, but I, I've, I've tried to, like, manipulate and c- orchestrate the whole situation. Do you know that most of the time the bitch ends up turning me off? Yeah. 
and those would be the moments when I'm talking to a girl on some horny shit and she real life intrigued in my music. She want to know who I am. She like she like Kid Prez. Not Rondo. Not not Playboy Rondo. <laughs> not even Ronnie. She like she like Kid Prez, bro. And I'm like, like damn, I tried to treat you like you was a hoe. Like I try to just say fuck all bitches like I'm on some just Yo, suck my dick shit. Like, fuck you, bro. Like, real life, I'm not with none of that shit. You capping. I'm on some cap shit right now. I'm not with the love no more. Y'all niggas don't want it. And I'm talking about bitches. Y'all niggas don't want uh-huh. it. Yo, suck my dick, bro. And then what? Then what happened? She ended up being the one for you. And then you done fucked up and did that to the wrong one. You see what I'm saying? It's, shit, it's like shit I think yeah. about, bro. I'm going to shut the fuck up, bro. I've been talking for a minute. I hate hearing myself talk on this podcast. Nah, you good. <laughs> you good. I'm listening. You, I you really hate hearing about. I know you listening, nigga. I want you to fucking talk, bro, because people need to know. Because, like, this is a process. Men are in process. I feel like women need to uh-huh. understand that men are in process. They want us to all be perfect when we meet them. That's not how I go. My wife understands that I'm in process. That's why, we're, she, that's why she's my wife. I wouldn't marry her. If she thought I was perfect, because she's stupid. I'm not fucking perfect. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So you got to understand that I'm in process. And I said this before. (coughs) (coughs) The Novid, Ovid. But look. I'm crying. She got to know that I'm in process. And if she's down for the process, that's what makes her a woman. See, a quitter is a quitter. Quitter don't have no gender. Quitters quit. They don't got no gender. Uh, it's, nah, for real. And now they got a whole fucking what? What we? What they call it? Sex. Like they got a sex for people who quit on even having a gender. But that's that's somebody else wow. running from responsibility. We ain't gonna go to that episode today. But yeah. at the end of the day, it's people, humans, that are weak, run from responsibility. And where do they end up? Do they end up happy, NASCAR? Do they end up want, getting what they Hell want? Hell nah. Nah. Do they even get what they need? Not today. I feel like they might nah. have what they need to even be that bougie to decide those type of stupid shit. But do they appreciate? They nah. What make, yeah, Hell exactly. No. They don't have no appreciation of what even makes them still be able to talk the crazy shit that they talk. And I've been that person yeah. before. That's the only reason I know this. Like, as a uh-huh, man, it's too, like... Though. I've had, like, I be talking crap about women, but it's be like, it be like, bro, you've had enough women give you what you wanted from them to even be able to talk this much about them. You see what I'm saying? So I have to understand that I'm, it's not like, like I said, like, and it's hard as a man because we got pride. We got masculinity and, 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 our image plays a lot into how we do shit. You would think it was it would be more like that for women. And I think it should be more like that for women. But since we in society and we got Instagram like women, and we got all this shit that puts so much pressure on every individual to be perfect when they wake up, that it's like one of those things where it's like it makes men kind of on edge. It makes us easily angry and irritable because we got so much pressure, bro. I mean, I ain't got no pressure. I just be listen though. Me. As a man, it's your job, like you just said, to tell yourself it's no pressure. Nah, I ain't gonna say it's my job. It's really listen what's though. Going on. It, it is <laughs> your job be, because what your wife gonna say when you when you meet her, she gonna say it's no pressure. But so you gotta be in a position. A but you gotta be in a position that when you ready to even meet that woman. Because if you're telling yourself. Yo, I gotta do this. I gotta be this. I gotta do this. I gotta be this. Hell no. She gotta be that. I gotta be this. She gotta be this. That's when you fucking miss out on... Like, bruh, let me tell you something. I think I probably met my soulmate at least seven times. Not probably, but it wasn't... But it wasn't 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 my soulmate, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I could have... We could have spent years together, but it was only a moment because... I wasn't ready for it, bro. I'm going to shut up right Okay. Here. See, but that... I want you to go in, say bro. Go in, my nigga. I've been fucking going in. Shit. And I'm tired of going in. I hate going in. It's one of the things. It's all I hate going in. 
Nah, you say you wasn't ready, but you was in that situation where you could decide that you wasn't ready or not. I can't. Mm -hmm. Me, 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 it's like. I was bougie. If I. Yeah. I mean, you wasn't bougie. You just was like. You still got to have a certain level of. You was bored. You was bored. You wanted something to to be bougie. Like, you got to have a certain level of. uh, What do they call it? Uh. Uh. What you was just saying. You was saying you was in that position. You got to have some ground to be bougie. You can't just be bougie uh-huh. if you ain't got no fucking value. Nothing to give. Not facts. But go ahead. But like, nah, like, you was, you just probably, you, you was bored. You know what I'm saying? You just wanted something to do and then you realize, then this shit start getting real and it was just like, oh shit, yeah. this shit really getting real. Like, god damn. Well, hey, you gotta tell a bitch I'm sorry. Know, I'm ready for that. Oh, a woman. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, for like, playing with you. But I'm not about to be here. Like, I got to go. Uh-huh. Like, I was here because it was fucking, yo, this was fire. Like, I'm not about to be mad that it was fire. Yeah. And I hope, like, I know she's not emotionally mature enough to not want this to be forever. And it's one of those things where you have to, like, as a man, like I said, you got to know better. For them, it's communication. You know what I'm saying? That's what communication is. It's both sides. You doing your part on your side is communicating what you're saying. And they doing their part on their side is listening and understanding. You can't force somebody to comprehend, but you also can do a good job of communicating to where they don't have to do that much work to comprehend. And if you know they ain't going to comprehend and think like you, you got to do a lot of work. You know what I'm trying to tell you, it's work. But it's like... I done been in them situations where it blow up in your face and shorty real life, like, she asks you, you don't love me? You say, no, I thought you knew. And she fucking kicks you out to her house. And it's below fucking 30 degrees. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, what you do then? Out Sea Pleasant. In the fucking middle of the hood. You ain't from there. Like, why you do that? Nah, you should have been pleasant. able to communicate different. You see what I'm saying? To at least get to leave in the morning. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Being uh-huh. you, you're going to end up in some fucking situation. I'm not saying you. I'm saying, like, communicating how you communicate. You're going to end up in some situations where it's like, it don't have to be this, but it, it is going to be this. You're going to have to go through it. You know what I mean? It's one of those things. Damn. I'm fucking spilling yeah. my fucking drink. God, these are... No, but I put... I poured the fucking orange juice on top of it, but it's so dark in here that I can't see the fucking... How deep... The shit is in the cup, so I did not end up fucking pouring too much orange juice, and now the shit was at the rim, and then when I grabbed it, it spilled. Shit get on my nerve. Like oh, shit. I want a mimosa. You want a mimosa? I just made one, basically. That shit was good as shit when I had that shit for the first time last year. Take a girl, take a, meet a girl up on, uh, meet a girl on one of them apps and just be like, yo, let's go get some emotions. Bro, that shit is not happening, bro. Like, I hate to say that shit, bro, because that shit is not in my control, bro. Don't nobody want to meet me, bro. It's not in your control, like, nigga. It is in your, it's this not. is what we just talked about. Bro, I'm telling you, like, how it's you, not. How, it, how are you going about it? Tell me how you going about it. Tell me like how you going how, about how, it. How, same way how you going about it. It's I the same exact way. What you talk about? Don't try to put me in this. I'm asking <laughs> you how you going about it. Like a fucking normal person? Hey, what's going on? Like You're not telling me what? hey, what's going on? That ain't saying like, you want to go get mimosas. Nigga say, hey, what's going on? Now, I want every uh, lady uh, uh, like, to be in the comments. Uh, uh, like, uh, 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 like, if like, you really get a, hey, what's going on? Are you going to fucking go get mimosas with this nigga? Don't even I look at this picture. Out. You see what I'm saying? It's not even about I, looks. It's about... Off top. Hey, how you doing? Stop being on some fake ass shit. Do you want to go get mimosas? It's the first message. Period. Let's go get mimosas. Like, come on, bro. Uh, That don't even matter. Let's go get mimosas. Don't care about the response or how she going to respond. If she going to respond. You want mimosas with with her. So let's just... That's the whole thing. I don't... I don't want that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I want to see if I want that. I'm trying to give you a oh, chance. So you, you on that shit. You on the shit they on. It's for, it's, this is the thing. I'm, That's I'm the shit that women be on, bro. I want to see I, if this is... Uh, they think it's too hard. This, That's some thinking shit. This, this the whole thing. No, it's not. Cause this, this, this is how it is. It's like, this is this the truth right here. Like, Tell me. I don't... I, 
right now in my life, I'm on the come up, right? And right. I'm coming up. What I really want right now, what I really want is to be up so I could do whatever, so I could stay occupied and do everything so that I want to do. So you trying to say financially to go get mimosas with a bitch would be too hard on you? Like, it would be too nah, much? Nah, no, 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 it ain't even that. It's like, because I could go do that. That shit cheap. You know what I'm saying? What, but you, it's what like, are you saying, though? What do you, why you got to be up to do that? No, that no, that's not a part of what I want to do when I'm up. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to do shit for me, like, alone shit. Like, I want to go to the carnival by myself. I want to do shit by myself. I want to have, I want to play the game. I want you know, to have a nice apartment. I want to do all that shit for me. I don't want bitches. Like, oh, I don't want girls. My bad, fuck. Why are we talking about them, then? I don't want girls. I'm bored right now. Why are we talking right about them? Because I got one, and I don't need to talk about them if we get... <laughs> because I'm, fuck, cause I'm <laughs> a fucking asshole. I'm a fucking asshole. I sit here, and I get upset about... Not upset, but like now I I'm say, gonna let every woman decide if that's real. I think this nigga really low key confused. still want a girl, like he said on. I don't be really. He said he want a girl. I'm crying. Nah, that's <laughs> I want to hit a girl. Like right now, I'm like, I want. I'm bored, so it's like I feel like don't use to women make to, time to go to, to to make time. That that go to the strip club. Like, if you gonna let women entertain you. But it's like it ain't even wrong. It's like yo, if I want, if I don't have no friends and I want a social life I because I don't do nothing else. No, no I'm telling ta- ta- to anybody who think that is wrong. And I'm, and I'm out here. I live on my own. I pay bills. I don't have no friends where I live at, and I, I like women, and I like women. And you're not uh, about to be hanging out with no dudes here. because you know what you comes see? with that. And women might not you know, know what, what comes with that, but you know what comes with that. Comes with that. Yeah. So you, you on some shit where it's like. If I'm gonna be around people, I'm gonna be around girls. And uh, uh-huh. look at this. <laughs> that comes and with they work. don't wanna be around. No, you. no, listen. You can say they don't wanna be around you, but that ain't got nothing to do with the work that you gotta do if you want women around you. You see what I'm saying? It's I, work. I put in work for that. Like, it's I gotta always put in work. work. It's always communication. Everything is work. That's, that's the problem right there. It's, everything it's costs, work, like, you gotta pay for everything. You don't get nothing That's for free, funny. bro. It's because you want it, and it's what you deserve, just, and it's what's real. Yeah. Uh-huh. You're going to have to work. You're going to have to pay. And that's how, that's what I be telling my wife. I be like, I come home, and I be like, why am I still at work? I'm working right I'll now. I be on my, my gosh. But at the same like, time, yeah. I know that don't nothing come for free, so I'm willing to do the work. You see what I'm saying? But it's like, damn, it's like, bro, out of me and her, like, out of me and the girl, like, I'm the I'm prize. The shit out of my nose. You hear this shit? Lie for real. Like, see, that's ASMR. Like, shit. <laughs> Fuck these niggas, man. I'm blowing the shit out my nose. Y'all got me fucked up if I'm gonna be fucking can't breathe on nah, the pod. Dude. Y'all got me bad. Nah, for real. <laughs> like, shit. I'm gonna like, breathe nah, clearly dude. on this bitch. Ah, <laughs> uh, facts. <laughs> Go ahead. It's like, I'm gonna like, breathe nah, clearly dude. on this bitch. Ah, <laughs> uh, facts. <laughs> Go ahead. It's like, between like out of me and her, if I feel like, yeah, you like me more than I, you like you attracted to me more than I'm attracted to you. I'm not even attracted to you. See, I'm what not makes you think that women looks. are attracted to men way more than men are attracted to women? And I want you to go ahead and say the truth. I'm not saying that you're wrong. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. saying, explain your philosophy and your thought process because this is what communication is: is explaining what you mean by what you're saying instead of just saying it and, and kind of pushing it on people. And you know it's shocking them because you know they don't think. Uh huh. Try to yeah. teach, and it's not. It's not. It's not. Like I said, I know you're not the type of nigga. You like always oh, like I want to just say how I feel da, 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 and move on. Yeah. You're gonna traumatize women. That's how you do. It. You already know that's I mean, that's what you do. Yeah. And you don't I like guess. the response that you get from women being scared of you. So you got to get to a point yeah. where you're willing to communicate and explain yourself. That's why I be helping you yeah. explain yourself because. Having the conversation is when women fall in love with you. It's while you talking. You see what I'm saying? You be talking and they be like, yo, I like how this nigga real life took two steps. Two, he took three seconds to go, to go further than any other nigga went. Most niggas lay down the law and walk and move off and disappear if I ain't with it in, in two seconds. This nigga real life sat there, said his vision, but then explained it. Explained my position for, for a minute and I'm with it. Like You be surprised how quick they go with your shit if you just fucking explain but niggas trying yeah. to be pimps. Like, low-key, we still trying to get this pride and ego. We still, low-key, trying to just 
drop game and walk away and hope a bitch it pick it up. Trying to drop game. Like, it's like, weird if I start shit. talking to you and I feel like your vibe, if I feel like I'm talking about generally, I'm off, talking about generally. Yeah, but go ahead. But now I'm talking. I'm speaking about me though. Like if I. If I feel like you you being awkward and like I'm making you feel awkward, I'm gonna start being awkward. I can't discard how you feel when I'm talking to you because you you doing it in my face and it's throwing me off. So it's just like okay, I'm so you're not thinking too hard in that situation. You don't think you're thinking too hard. I'm not. I'm not even thinking too hard. Are you really being? Are you being in the moment or are you thinking about the moment? That's what. No, I'm being in the moment because it's like I could I read body language really good and I read people. That's thinking, and though. it's like that's still you, thinking though. That's not feeling. Feeling don't got no words nah, or no is, vision though, or it, no it, sight it, to it, it. it. You hear me though? No, I'm t- I'm telling you it, as a married man that that feeling and emotions with women don't have nothing to do with sight or 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 uh or hearing. You don't need your senses. What, you see what I'm saying? But you still feel something. That's what makes it so crazy. Is that I didn't hear you. It's nothing you said to me. It's nothing I saw. It's nothing I touched. But I'm with it. What is that? That is nah, catastrophic. Telling me, Have you ever felt that though? That Have not. you ever felt that though? Nah. That's what I'm saying, bro. And it's work that needs to be put in before you ever get that. It's, and, it's, and it's not like I'm not saying that you're wrong, like, yeah, bro. No, I feel it. What I'm saying no, man, is I, you're a man, so it's harder for you. That's it. That's all yeah, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You're you gonna you, have to do way wrong. more work than a girl gonna ever have to do. And you trying and, to help and women. Whole, and I was just was thinking about that last go night. Ahead, you know ahead, what I'm saying? That's that's why I'm listening to what you're saying because you like you you right because it's just like that's the problem. I'm too spoiled. Like I'm just spoiled. Like I'm you, just you, like no yo, no no. You're not even spoiled. You just deserve the best. But you think yeah. that the best comes with cooperation and it don't. Yeah, you you hit it on. We at a point in in society, and this is where I'm about to get. Back on your nerves. I feel like an asshole, shit. like just chase. Feel like I'm chasing you around, and I'm like, you see how I look, girl? Like, stop playing with me, girl. I look way but better women than you. Stop are like doing vinegar that, to me. Like, <laughs> I fuck with it, but I do not. Is that I fuck with it, but I it do stink. Not. It tastes good, but it stink. Are you talking? Man, I gotta sit there and have this bullshit conversation with you, and. Uh, like for hot for well, hours. Yeah, your man on shit end. coming out right now. That's my point though. Look, it's like one of those things where you gotta <laughs> when you communicating and it's not lying. You're just telling the truth differently. You gotta t- learn how to tell the truth in a different way because you got people who's playing the game. And at the end of the day, you gotta yeah. make them not wanna play that game no more. And 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 and, and, and I, I feel you and you and you saying some real shit. And that's because if I did making that, them not wanna play that game problem. don't come with uh Traumatizing them and just confronting them straight up and hitting them with the real off top. That's gonna fucking scare every girl away. I'm trying to tell hey, you. I be, I be going. You know off. that I you mean, already you do know, that. You, you know said it me. on the pod. <laughs> but you already seen me. Like I, like I, I be go, I be going straight to it. Like I be. You like, rub them wrong be, though, move. but you rub them the wrong way. You don't rub them the way you want to want them to go. Facts, you right. So why I you doing move, it I like that? You fast. gotta, you gotta switch up how you communicate, and that's what I'm saying. As a man. Like this is this is the this is the hidden secret about what I'm saying right now, and I'm not trying to say it because I want niggas to really live it, but I'm gonna say it because nobody else ever potted and said it. The value in the gems and the secret hidden treasures and money and fucking power and physical strength that you get as a man, just through stopping how you stopping your output and correcting your export. Like, correcting your export process, perfecting that, makes you way more physically appealing and makes you way more sonically uh, 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 enticing and makes you, uh, it, it changes your overall aura when your mind is on me. What do I do wrong? How can I do it better? And when I say wrong, I'm not saying based on what they say I'm wrong at. I'm saying, how do I know I'm wrong? Because I've done this one, two, three, four, but it never did shit for me. Why am I still doing it? Because I'm a man and I'm forcing everything? Fuck that. I'm not forcing nothing no more. I'm on some shit where but it's that's like... That's the thing. That That's why I feel like if I sit right there, like let's say I approach a girl and then like she giving me that vibe and it's just like I'm not about to sit here and you do talking this about vibe. A vibe. 
You talking about a vibe like, that you already told me on the pod is a lie. She fronting. See, if you know well, yeah, that, then that, why that, you yeah. fucking tripping off of it? Let her That's, front. Cause it's like, cause be it's a like, real nigga. Let her front, bro. <laughs> Give her the space like, to be a woman. <laughs> women front, bro. That's what it is. That's the whole thing. You are right. Stop this getting mad thing. about what women right, are, bro. Right. And that's what niggas do too much. Niggas get mad about what women are, and then they don't get women because they fucking like, tripping about the fact that uh, she being a woman. She I just got to fight through that shit. Like, that's the whole thing, though, because it's just it's be like... Work. It's work. It's like, girl, free. like... Oh, God, I just be like, girl, you know who you talking to? Like, in my head, I'm like, you know who the fuck you talk to? You, I'm talk- like, what? You acting all stank. Like, you know exactly who you talking to. Like, what? Like, you that's sound, how I be feeling. Bro, why does it sound like so, the, the intro to a Cardi song? I'm crying. You funny as shit. That's how Cardi be. Like, bitch, you know who, you, no, who I am? Real. You acting stank. Like, but you know who I, my name? Why? Like, you shit. That's how shit. I be feeling. Then he he get on the like, booth and be like, look, on the mic, like, she don't know who she, who she talking to. But it's and all I good. know when I walk away, I know I when I this the whole thing. I know when I walk away, she probably thinking like, why did he just leave? Like, why did he just leave? Like, if he would have just stayed and nah, just like she talk, think about like, she think about that, but she also think like I got a little bit of control on this nigga because at the end of the day, he stayed and he didn't just he didn't just walk away if he was really that upset. He literally tried no, to it was, convince it's not even me. That I'm upset. It's not, like, when I say it, upset, oh, yeah. I'm saying it's not. In sync, off top, and you try uh-huh. to make it in sync through. Uh, you did. You're not willing to shape shit fully, but you try to like figure her out. That is a problem. Yeah. You got to know that's a problem. You can't, as a man, you can't try to act like I'm trying this and I'm trying that. Like I used to be that uh, dude, bro. I'm trying to tell it you. Even like, uh, no, trying no, the thing. is the problem. Stop fucking look, trying. Listen. Be yourself. And what no, don't that's stick, what I be, oh, don't that's give it what your I, energy. And what does stick, you give it your all. You don't fucking hold out because you're trying to play her now. You see what I'm saying? That's what no, niggas do. And, the whole thing. and this is what gives that. bitches... That's what it seems like. This is what gives women the, the, the ability to say that niggas be on some bullshit. You see what I'm saying? It's because we do be on some bullshit. You can't say we don't. We be... They, they, they play so many games that we end up playing the game with them. That's not how it go. You're not going to win like that. No, nah, I'm not playing no games. Look, this the thing. Like, if I approach a girl, right, I'm going to introduce myself. See, this myself. is why I hate talking about women Someone, on the podcast. Because it always soon becomes I introduce about women, 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 women. And they love it because... <laughs> they don't. They never gonna but know sound, and figure out they self fully. So they love hearing people. We sound try. like them in the nineties. And for me, like- I already know what's going on. Like I said, that's why I'm married. I don't need to fucking talk about them because I get we it. Sound like them in the nineties. You know, in the nineties. I'm a nineties like, nigga though. Like I said, like I ain't saying God's was son wasn't about born in the right like era. This. But I wasn't born in the right era either. On the same type of time he was on, and I'm on some shit where it's like uh-huh. I was born in the right era because I'm here now. But at the same time. If I was out there, out there, out there, when it was what it was, oh, I'd be up. And this brings me back to what we even started the pod for is because I remember when you could say faggot and nobody tripped about it. Uh Uh-oh, I dropped a bomb. (laughs) I dropped a fucking bomb in the middle of of commotion in the ocean and shit blowing up. I realized I said, boom, like faggot though. Like you could say that shit and I remember... Gay people, they was mad, but it was because of a joke. They was mad at the fact that, like, he funny. They was mad that I was funny while I was saying some shit that shouldn't be funny. And that's what comedy is. That's self-deception, bro. Comedy is making fun of things that that aren't funny. You're taking it out of context and bringing humor to it, and now it's fucking joy. That's the problem with people now these days. They think so stupid in such a structured way. And I feel like everybody it started with women. Nowadays. But they think like, in such a structured way that everybody's trying to please everybody and then everybody's trying to also not be wrong. And it's like, I'm okay with being wrong. I can have the same conversation. You said we got to get on a girl, a girl on this pod. I don't know if you remember ever saying that. But we got to get a girl on I, this pod. I probably did say and that. And that's the same way we got to get a gay nigga on this pod. If you ask me, because I'm ready yeah, to shit. talk about it. I want to have a conversation. Like, what's up with it? it what is it's it? It's the thing. What's it like? What are you doing? Everybody nowadays, everybody nowadays, 
just man, it's just manipulative. Like I was, t- I remember, uh, I remember uh, my. You gotta take friend. over, bro. I'm tired of talking, about bro. I realize my throat hurt, bro. I'm not with this. Shit. <laughs> I'm crying. I'm not talking. Bro. I, I remember my my mom friend was like, yeah, this this shit that y'all y'all kids doing nowadays, this shit not it. Like I remember back in my days, we would just like if we needed something, we call our homie and like, yo, yeah, we need this. I need this. Pull up and the my homie be like, all right, all right, that's a bet. Come up, pull up. We ain't even having no little ass fake ass conversation. We just boom, boom, boom. Nowadays. Like y'all just want to just manipulate each other and make y'all feel, make y'all make the other person feel like y'all fuck with them when y'all really don't just to get something when y'all could just ask the person for that and just like be like okay okay shit I'm with it all right boom and then just leave it at that it's it don't have to be ma- deep with that conversation that. from your mom Deuce and she the one who be on some manipulation no shit her friend you, but go ahead her friend but if it wasn't for your mom her friend would be yeah, yeah that's my point no that's but, the, yeah but yeah at, at the same time she's still on some shit. That even yeah. she got, she know now she got enough in her head to have friends that think like that. <laughs> you uh-huh. know what I'm saying? But she's still on some player playing game shit. But go ahead. But like the thing with with gay people is like, especially dudes, it's like that's self deception. That's why I that's why I don't fuck with that shit because it's like you deceiving yourself. You don't fuck with what? Shit. I don't fuck with. I'm homophobic. I am homophobic. Oh God, this is gonna like, be the, 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 the what time is like, it? What? This is the timestamp that's going to get us the clicks and it's going to be the hate. <laughs> I don't give a fuck because it's like, bro, you self, you, you deceiving the shit out of yourself. I'm what it is. This no, shit no, no. funny as hell to me, bro. Like shit. They but like, this the thing though. I ain't with it. I'm, I'm, this is what I think about that shit. I think about this the same way I think about my shit. It's like, I, I, I know people lie and I know people do what they do. But the same way people lie, people tell the truth. The same way they lie, they tell the truth. Mm-hmm. So it's one of those things, bruh, we already talked about this on the pod. You lying is you putting a tarp over something, and now I see what you're hiding. Because you're lying. Yeah. So you're telling yeah, me yeah, the yeah. truth even clearer than the motherfucker Yo, yeah, you who are, trying yeah, to tell yeah, me the truth. Okay, tr- they try to lie to me by yes. telling me the truth. You know people who yeah. lie by telling <laughs> the truth. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. one of those things. I, I'm most worried about the niggas who lie by telling the truth, who niggas who act like they, you know, everything about them, and you don't know shit. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So it's like you more obvious, and like I said, at the same time, um, I'm with people being in process. I want you to go through what you're going through and figure out your shit. Right, you I don't want you to come to me. I don't want nobody to feel pressure to be perfect in this world because it's impossible as a human being. Nice. So you're going to end up lying to me at some point. I don't ever want to build a relationship making you feel like you got to be good all the time. That's not real. I mean, for me... I, when I say I, well, I, it's I, not I, real, I'm saying... Sure I when I say good, good, I'm talking about... You know what? Po- politics, political. Uh, we got laws... We got uh, 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 people going morality. We got all these fucking yeah. stupid ass doctrine that we've been taught that is real and what is good and what is right and what is wrong. I don't want yeah. you to be bound by that, is my point. I want you to do uh-huh. what you feel, what your heart That's... is, and what your intentions are, because then I can decide how I feel about you. Stop uh-huh. telling me how to feel about you. I'm going to feel how I feel about you. Yeah. Regardless you know I mean? of if somebody tell you or not. But go ahead. That's why I laugh when you say you're homophobic. Because I don't think you are. I just think you you know what people are going to say about what you think. So you say I'm a homophobic. You know what I mean? To nah. get ahead of it. And then the reality is like, man, that ain't real. You love people, yeah, I, period. My, yeah, nah, my, intu- my intuition is like, my, my intuition tell me, nah, I'm not homophobic. It's just... It's just like I don't. You letting them win when you say that. That's all you doing. You are yeah. not scared to let yeah. them win, and you just like look here. Take what you want. I know you're gonna do what you want with it anyway. So I'm gonna just go ahead and say this. I know I can't say how I feel as a heterosexual male without it being framed as homophobic anyway in 2021. So I'm gonna go uh-huh. ahead and beat you to the punch. I'm homophobic. Right, and I'm gonna but show that, you that I... I'm not scared of you labeling me, label me, labeling me like that. And I'm gonna still say yeah. how I feel. You see what I'm saying? It's one of those things. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm like, a couple months ago, like it used to, like it, I used to be like, yeah, I'm homophobic, cause like 
I, that's that. That's when I was like, I was, I love women. I was loving women. It's just like so attracted to women. It's just I love them so much. It's like to see a nigga try to do some shit like that. That's weird. That like, piss you off, right? It. As a man, but we yeah. can't talk about that. You see how? I, you see why we can't talk it's about? A- it? We can, <laughs> but when I say we can't, it's like it's on paper we can't. That's all I'm saying. Uh-huh. Don't don't be thinking that I'm over here falling for the okie dokie Loki. I know yeah. what's going on. I'm just like I'm saying on paper what it is. But go ahead. It's not like <laughs> I hate y'all. I hate them. Like oh my god, it's like they they. He tried to like he wasn't talking to him. Like yeah, he talking like, to y'all. Nah. He talking to y'all. He knows yeah, who y'all nah. is. Y'all. The yasses. The yasses. You funny. The yasses. But like, but it's just like, I don't know. I feel like you're not being yourself. You doing some shit like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like because and I know tell why you God doing it. And, and I, about. This and is I the thing that I think about it. because it's like we, when we had guests guest on this show and we talk a lot of shit that we talk as individuals, as me and you together, I'd be thinking about the guests. I'd be like, what do they want to say on the show? What's going to scare them away from saying what they want to say? And also, what's going to... Uh, because it's a show at the end of the day. It's not about just one episode ever. It's always about the show. For me. It might not be like that for you, but it's like that for me. So for me, it's like what does the show mean at all times and then what does fucking this episode mean to the show? Oh, for the show. Uh Uh-huh. And, um, like I said, when I think about Godson Smith, Godson the Pharaoh, I'm like, what does he, what does he stand for? What does he mean? What is he about? Excuse me. That was so nasty. And um, I usually be like, uh, this, that, the third, God shit, God son shit, son shit, Pharaoh, Isity. Uh-huh. But then I be like, um, how does he feel about gay people? See, like the scary shit. Like, the shit people really be scared <laughs> to talk about, bruh. Like, why are you scared? Like, who why are, are you, you scared? if like, you scared? The, the, See what I'm saying? It's so much thing. shit that I think about. I be like, this is the shit that... This is why I love 2021, bruh. Because it's like, it's really separating the real from the fake, bruh. Nah, for real, though. It's, it's like facts. them times, bruh. It's the end times where everybody talk about Not in the facts. Bible. Like, you can't play no more, bro. It's not playtime, bro. We got to end this pod, bro. I ain't going to lie to you because I got a whole family to go to and I miss my kids. Uh-huh. And I just got off work, I bro. Do, I, will, I miss my kids. But, bro, like, it's them times, bro. We got to separate the real from the fake, bro. And it's, it's already all being separated by people being vocal. People love speaking out facts. these days. You remember when motherfuckers used to be quiet about how they felt about everything? Uh huh. Now everybody want to talk about how they feel, bro. It's like it's like niggas be, it's too much incentive to sp- tell how you feel because people think they're gonna get a platform and followers and fans out of it. And the reality yeah. is, most of them is not, and most of them is gonna get in a trick bag, and then they're gonna be looking stupid on the internet for years talking to they self about yeah. back and forth, back and forth, back and fucking forth. You know what I mean? And we on some shit where we like. I'm growing in front of the world. I'm on some shit where it's like, I feel like this right now today, and I'm going to explain why I feel like that. But I also know that things can change because, like, I done experienced it, bro. I done experienced the real experience. I done had a whole baby, bro. I feel uh-huh. different about women now, bro. I got two daughters. Like shit. They can't I help a lot of the shit like, that they do, bro. They can't help it. They can't, yeah. They and I'm not like saying that. that it's all it's all them. It's not. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing that they doing. That's like, my that's point. Wrong. It's like it's, it's not like, even intentional. It's, Nothing's intentional. And as as a, as the, the responsibility that comes with communicating anything and any communication and any co- activity that involves communication, you're gonna have to do your part. And it's as yeah. a man, it's way more work than a woman got to do. All a woman really got to do is listen. Facts. Because you the man. You supposed to lead. So you, all you got to do is lay it down right. And then she I, listen. Look, I got to get talk about that shit too. <laughs> talk about it. I'm like, I'm like, I hate, I hate when I hear women say that a man supposed to lead. Yeah, so what's the woman supposed to do? Follow, right? Like, <laughs> Yeah, but at the same time, like I said, 
That's a sense of leadership, bro. Because when I'm at work, I said, who leading the house? Your woman. Why, though? Because I told her to? Because you Because I taught her how I want my house led. It's my shit. But at the same time, it's her shit. I'm giving a real thing works only when both people are doing what they supposed to do in yeah. full capacity. And if you know but if a woman I'm giving ain't a willing to, to put, do that. But if you meet a girl and you know she weak and she not willing to put in everything, stop talking to her. Stop worrying about the fact that this is what you chose to do at this moment. Oh man, I went smack, so I got to do it. No, you don't. Nah, I don't feel like that. I just do. I'm talking about men, period. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about. I don't know. No, I don't know. No other man that ever go smack at nobody. You probably the only person. I know. I I know niggas who go smack, and when I look, you see how I change the word to niggas. So even niggas talk about niggas like that. We separate men from niggas. So even men separate niggas from niggas, and men from men, men from niggas. So it's one of those things where it's like. You just got to get to a point a in life meaning. where you know it's what like, you want. And, and like I said, it's going to be a lot of people who go through experiences and you're going to use a lot of people to figure out where you want to be in your life. And you're going to fuck over a lot of people. And that's just how it goes. It's, it goes in and out. And there's people going to win. There's people going to lose. And like I said in the other motherfucking part, if you're not willing to lose, this life shit ain't for you. It's a part of it. You're going to yeah. lose. And you're going to win, but you only win it because you lost. So stop trying to play me like I'm supposed to make sure you win every time, woman. No, I'm not with that. It's like my girl sometimes, like my wife. This is what she'll do. I'll be like, look, and I'm going to end it here. She'll be like, da di da di da di da da di da di da Beautiful birds chirping. The ocean, the fucking river, the spring, and the waterfall is pouring down, and the fish are happy, and the the fucking, you know, everything's fine. The butterflies are flying through the air, fluttering, and the fucking wind is nice and calm, but it's nice and warm, and it's nice and cool at the same time, and the fucking... <sighs> the sun is beaming, but it's not beaming too hard, and it's fucking... Getting me a nice tan and it's nice and fucking healthy for me. It's not really pushing me. Nothing's pushing me. I'm just in a great space. And then I'd be like, hey, yo, did you do what you're supposed to do? And then it's like, dum dum. I'm like, hold on, 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 hold on. Fuck that shit. You're not about to have me, Mr. Break the Peace, because I told the truth. Y'all got me fucked up. You got me fucked up around here. That's not how I go, bro. No, 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 no. You're not going to be all in serene zen space. And then as soon as I say what's real and, and then tell you what you were supposed to have been doing, you knew what you were supposed to have been doing. You didn't do it. And you chose to, like, not do it so that you can get some, you can steal some peace and some freedom. Like, what you up? What's up with you? What you want? Like, nah, yeah. you here. This is the mission. This ain't, this ain't no individualistic mindset. You got to get rid of that shit. Even as a man. Because if you want to be with somebody, the reality is you not you you with them. But that's that's my whole thing too. I'm like I don't want to be with somebody that I gotta get to be with me. Like if I want to, I want to be with somebody that out of their own free will. Yeah, I, but I'm not talking girl. about getting to be with me. I'm talking about women. Period. That like you don't have experience with women, bro. That's my point. It's like you have to experience women. To know that they're not gonna change. You keep thinking that you can change women. And I'm no, not saying that's, that's not that, what I'm listen, trying to do. Listen, you're not listening. I'm not saying that's what you're saying. But I'm saying how you acting if I'm a woman, I'm gonna say that's what you're doing. You see what I'm saying? That's no, women. That's I women, bro. You gotta, women you gotta, are like, saying that if However NASCAR goes about it, however you go about it, if I'm a woman and I'm listening to you explain how you do whatever you do, I'm going to say you're trying to change me. I'm not saying that it's Uh, real, but I'm saying that's what women see from you. And if you keep thinking that you're going to meet a woman that don't see it like that, bro, you're going to be forever alone. That's That's the point. 
it's, like, it, that's you're crazy. gonna have to do work on yourself to get to a point where you not on the type of time that you on right now, and that's when you gonna meet that girl. She gonna smack the shit out of you and just gonna throw you for a loop, and you gonna be like, oh shit, now I can be myself. She gonna be like, yeah, and it's gonna make you come, my nigga. I'm trying to tell you, bro. You gonna be like, yo, real life. Like, yeah, that's what it is, and you gonna have a baby, bro. That's what it is. It's not no fucking. Everybody act like it's a fucking movie or it's a fucking loophole or it's some scam shit. It's not. It's real life. Some shit that don't no human understand. That's what happens, bro. That's what happens. It's some out of this world shit. It's not no fucking shit you can really put in your hands and like decide on. Oh, I'm a. I know as a man we got this pride and we think that we can do what we want with everything. That's not how it go, bro. It's just not real. And then when you have a daughter, let alone have a kid. It ain't going to be about you no more either. You ain't going to care about you like you used to. You're going to be like, yo, I'm done with this nigga. I hate that nigga, bro. Why he so selfish? Like, let me be for them. Like, I'm ready for them to be for me. You see what I'm saying? It's so much shit that you think about that, that changed. And that's why I'm here for you, my nigga. Because I want you to be able to, to get there. I don't want you to think that the struggles you even going for women, like going through with women, is, is like in vain. And then I also don't want you to think that... The struggles you go through with women is is like good for you. I don't want you to ever think neither one of those things because all it's doing is making you a man. Once you become a man, and I'm not saying I'm even fully a man. I'm just saying we all in process. But when you meet that woman who is with you at your place in the process, you're gonna know and then you're gonna be surprised. And it's not gonna it's not gonna be like. Oh, I know this. Oh, I knew that you was the one. You're never going to know. That's not how it goes. I'm trying to tell you, because if you knew, then you would do something about it, and you would fuck it up. I'm trying to tell you this, nigga. I did it. <laughs> I fucking fucked it all up. 10, 15, 17,000 times, bro. And I wish hey. that she hid it from me, so I wouldn't fuck it up. But now I know that I got to stop trying to figure shit out, because... I'm using man brain with woman brain. And I'm going to lose because women shift their brain according to me. Period. She's going to shift her whole shit according to me. If I know I'm the, the master of the universe, why the fuck am I asking? Stop asking. Do you, and if it don't, it don't. Move on. Keep doing you. Do you so much that you don't even expect nothing from you and you. To the point where it's going to stop you in your tracks. I'm trying to tell you, you're going to have to, you're, you're going to be reining in the horses, bro. And they're going to be sliding like 10, 15 feet, bro. It's going to be fucking uh, marching the dirt where these hooves was like pushing through the dirt for 10, 15 feet, bro. And you're going to realize, oh shit, she the actual one. That's how it go, bro. It don't go like that other shit. That they tell you, don't fall for the okie doke. Because they trying to keep us divided. They trying to make men hate women. And they want women to hate men. It's, it's, it's some bullshit, bro. I'm trying to tell you that. For, for facts only, nigga, you going to be in love, bro. And I can't wait till you in love. <laughs> and I want to see that shit. And I'm going to fucking put a tux on. And I'm going to be with my nigga. And he going to have a fucking he wife. <laughs> and he going to have some kids and shit. And it's going to be so ugly because they going to be ugly kids. And I'm going to be like, yo, they ugly. They all ugly together. Ah! Yo, I love them niggas. So it's going to be crazy, bro. Like, yo. Yo, I appreciate you uh, for really hopping on this episode. Well, you know how we do it. I don't even got to say all of that shit. I hate it when I hear myself say, yo, I appreciate you for hopping on the episode. Yo, da, 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 da. Yeah, like, you got, we got to yeah, do here. at least, like, yeah, like, uh, do at least like 300 episodes before I tell you I appreciate you. Because we ain't you know done enough for me to... Yeah, I hate that shit. I hate that but shit. Then, hey, you said what you're saying, and like, I'm not about to be on the next episode. Like, <laughs> nigga, I got trauma. I ain't going to lie. This is why I wanted to say that. And I feel you. help us for 55. But 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 I really I be feeling like you fucking like going like I don't know what gonna make you leave next like it's nah, that type of time. Nah, I'm telling, I, bro. I've been I've been going crazy. Like I'm here. Like you know what I'm saying. I told you like yeah, I'm mature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you ain't done I'm nothing here. that I ain't done on the pod. Like I done went crazy on the pod. That's what I'm saying. But niggas I, don't listen to my I, episodes. But the shit that niggas I've don't done listen now. to shit I done said on this pod. And niggas get on the pod and say shit, and I be like, yo, do you know that I done said a lot of this shit you were saying? I done talked by myself. For 50 minutes, 
about what you're saying. As and, and, that, and it's vice versa, and vice versa. But that's my point. It's like I just got a little PCSD, and I just want to make sure that, uh, like I said, I appreciate people while they're here. That's it. Uh, well, I'm uh, giving the honors. I'm giving niggas flowers. Yeah, yeah. You slept on as an artist, so you definitely need that. I'm going to fucking play your yeah. song like I should have the last episode, but I'm going to play it this episode, and I'm going to put it in the fucking front of the episode. And if you yeah, send me some it. more shit, I'm going to play that at the end of the episode or behind the song in the front. Like, I'm not with none of hey. that shit that I was on, but whatever. Family, I want some hype beast shit. Hype shit, and you, you know, if you're a real good artist, you make me feel like a hype beast. And NASCAR, you one of those artists that make me feel like a hype beast, yo. Rado Show, episode 54. Yo, I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you too, man. Appreciate Yo, you a real nigga, bro. Watch, watch. We got some shit to talk about. Oh, oh for real. We always oh. gonna have some shit to talk about. Oh, bro, we got some shit to say to these motherfuckers, bro. And it's like, yo, we we really be putting ourselves in, not a box, but we be, we be letting it go. We be letting a lot of shit go, bro. You know how much shit niggas let go? As a, as, like... Fuck, 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 fuck women for right now. Ooh, I said that at the end of the episode. Fuck women <laughs> for right now. But as men, how much shit do we really let go? If you could give it a percentage, 60, 40, 40 being what you don't let go, and you, no, you don't let go, and you actually tell the truth. Shit. How much shit do you think men really let go? Men, exclu- I'm gonna exclude as a, as a, me In general, out of it. us as a I, race. I'm gonna, I'm gonna exclude me out of it. I'm gonna say men... That is that is not me, right? Probably like, probably like, uh, probably like seven seventy. It has to yeah, still seventy. You said what? Seventy seventy twenty, but twenty being what? What you actually tell the truth about? Oh shit! Damn. Oh, I want to say twenty. I want damn yeah 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 yeah. What do you yeah, tell yeah, women? Yeah, twenty. You tell 20%. women twenty percent of the truth and seventy five percent. I mean seventy percent is you trying me. to please them. No, not you me. Keep I'm keep saying other that niggas. you, but you are part of the percentage that no. is telling the truth. Okay, so if you want to put me a part of the percentage, I tell I tell women what I feel and how I feel, and it's like I ain't I don't all say, that. I don't, I'm talking about I don't say nothing. A percentage. I'm, Do most I'm a men, different nigga, bro. I'm a different. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, I know I'm not, you a different nigga, but that, that makes you <laughs> fall into the percentage of people who tell the truth to women. That's not that's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying how many men, in general. I'm not talking about you. I'm saying how okay. many men in general. Tell women how they exactly feel and how many men try to sugarcoat it and try to make it easy then for women it, yeah, to then feel. Yeah, then it's 720 how you say it. It's 720. 720. You said 720? Yeah. This is what I um, say. 50-50. And I'm going to end it right 50/50. here because we all fucking lying. Period. But this the thing, though. Like, niggas be lying about how they feel This ain't a conversation. This ain't a conversation. Fuck. I'm ending it, bro. This ain't a conversation. She's out ending it. I got shit to <laughs> this say. This ain't a conversation, shit, bro. We're gonna, we're gonna say this I know you got shit to say. That's why we potting, bro. We got more episodes, right, bro. Hey. And I gotta go do shit with the fam, bro. I can't. I can't. Facts, keep right, I'm gonna shut. I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up because you're gonna bro, go bro. more. I love you. You know I love you though, right? I love you too, bro. You already know, you know that, I love bro. you. I love though. you too. All right, all right. I don't want you to take no offense, bro. I just I'm. I'm I ain't take no offense to nothing that nobody say, especially you. You my nigga, man. I I bet, 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 bet. Like I told you, I got PTSD. I don't be knowing if niggas get offended by me, so I be trying to like hey, y'all talk to niggas, bro. make sure niggas get a pillow and everybody get a pillow. Women need a pillow. Bro. Everybody want a pillow in twenty twenty one. They all tissue. Oh, you gonna knock tissue. me out? Put a pillow under my head before I hit the ground. Like man, fuck that nah, shit. I'm everybody, fucking knock everybody your ass out. And tissue. you gonna get up and you gonna beat the shit out of me. That's how I go. Don't fucking try to make me fucking hit you lightly. Man, I'm gonna hit you. Crying. That's how I go. That's exactly. All right, I love you, bro. We gonna talk, bro. I'm gonna really too. call you right after this pod, but I'm trying to end the pod. I ain't gonna lie. To you. All right, all right, all right. All right. One. Yeah, yeah, you got all these dudes, you got all these men, man. Who gonna be your man? 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 Who gonna be your dude? Who gonna be your man? Who gonna be your supporter? Who gonna be your fan? You look across the world, you look across the land, trying to be someone.